Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? Hello, welcome back to the Last Shot Podcast with me, All Things Wrestling, and Stefan. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have Shawn Michael Jr. today, so uh, yeah, it, it's nice to be back, dude. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't come back today, but uh, we'll see what's going to happen. I have a great time today, great day. Uh, I, you were at work, uh, just. Uh, I'm tired, but uh, let's do this stuff uh, and not leave people, you know, without anything to listen to today. Exactly, exactly. We do apologize for a little bit late, but I was busy yesterday. Yeah, and as you can see, dude, I'm, I'm in a great mood today. Um, but once again, if it comes to disruption or something later on, um, just don't knock it on me because uh, I don't know what's going to happen. To be honest, um, you know this. Uh, you know this, Tom. I'm not really in a great. I don't really have a great friendship with uh, Sean Michael Jr. We, me, and him have some issues. So um, hopefully, not happens. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm here to talk wrestling, and hopefully, everything will be fine until the end. Yeah. Yes, let's start with the sad news and just get the couple of sad newses out of the way. I have to talk about first. Did you hear Harley Race passed away? Yes, unfortunately, once again. It's like every time we do the, these podcasts, every time someone passes away, which is horrible. It just shows how many people pass away. Uh, and some, a lot of those people are from wrestling, which is just horrible and terrifying. Um, hopefully we don't have you know any losses anymore this year. I just don't wish anything like that to anyone. Um, I know. But my, you know, my um, condolences go to his family and his friends, so... Exactly, we did lose a true wrestling legend yesterday. Yeah, he, he was great. I'm not really, uh, I was never into, you know, Harley Race as a wrestler, I, I, because I don't know if you if you knew who he is and if you've seen his work, but I did. It, it's nothing, you know, I didn't see anything much. I was watching before, but I know who he is, obviously I know. Uh, and uh, it's really sad uh, anyone when anyone passes away, you know, from wrestling. Exactly. Uh, obviously, I've not seen much of his work due to the fact when he wrestled, but I'm aware of Harley Race. Everyone's aware of Harley Race. Yeah, just when you hear that name, Harley Race, you know. Uh, you know who, who it is. is. And, yeah. Yeah, my, it's, it's a recognizable name. Rest in peace, Harley Race. My condolences to family and friends. How old is he? How old was he? Was he was 76. He uh, passed away due to lung cancer. Yeah, usually when people are uh, when people die in their seventies, it's usually because of some sickness or, or some or cancer or something like that. And you know when others pass away, it's usually after eighty if they're healthy or something like that. So it sucks that a lot of people passed away, and I think um, it, it it just sucks you to see. Uh, a lot of people uh, who deal with cancer and that kind of stuff, it's uh, its not a joke. It's not. Now, we have another tragic story to talk about, nowhere near as bad as this story, uh, but... No, uh, let, me just, let me just say this. It's unfortunate to see someone like that. I'm sorry, I, I gotta cut you off, because I, I think, I honestly think, I don't know if you agree with me on this, if he wasn't dealing with cancer, I think he... May have, may have had at least a few more years left. Definitely. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah, let's move on now from that. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about Defiant Wrestling, yeah. also known as WCPW? I did, uh, but I'm not really into that wrestling. We can just we can discuss it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. not I'm doing a whole podcast of that on Monday. No. But I just uh, thought I'd yeah. mention it here that. Defiant Wrestling is now going out of business, which is sad. Oh, yeah. Another wrestling promotion is gone, which I don't get how, because what culture's YouTube well, channels must be making a mint money. Listen, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually fine with that. 
because let's be honest, a lot of people don't know who they are. A lot of people who are not. Yeah, but so, people have jobs. Uh, it was the whole thing. People have lost their jobs today, which is sad. Well, you got to think about it. I was wrong actually on this thing that I said that I don't care. Like, um, you got to think how many people lost their jobs. So it's a fucked up situation for them. Yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully they, uh, they've put them all into the what culture family and going to do something with the people that were behind it. Yeah, so people and, don't um, lose the jobs because that's the worst thing when anything goes out of business is it ruins people's livelihoods. Yeah, they they had that great stable with uh, what's it called uh, the prestige, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you. And that was a good stable, I think. If, actually, if that's not the copyrighted name. Uh, I think it would be good to use that name in the WWE for some stable. You know, it's a pretty cool name. You know. Yes, they had a lot of good yeah. talents, but they well, had. But a lot of them are in NXT UK right now. Yeah, a lot of them will be going to NXT as well now. I feel like yeah. a lot of them are NXT UK bound, or probably somewhere in America. Yeah, I mean they had wrestlers, you know, all over the world wrestling for them. Even Adam Cole and someone like that, they were wrestling then there in um, Jail Italy, you know. Uh, exactly, so, they had um, Cody Rhodes, Kurt Angle, Matt Hardy. They've had so many big names wrestle for him. Yeah, I, I just feel, I don't know if this has anything to do, to do with that. I just know if, you know, when Adam Pacitti and others who were in the, who were part of that, when they left, I think some, I think like everything came down, you know. I, I don't know if they have anything to do with that, probably not, but uh, I just feel that. It, it did seem to take a down, turn you know? after those guys left. Exactly. Which is kind of with the point I stopped tuning into it. Yeah. Yeah, just. You will never be forgotten to fight wrestling to BCPW. Well, you can you can make them in the WWE 2K20, you know. <laughs> exactly, they'll live on in 2K20. <laughs> they will always live. <laughs> okay, let's move on to an independent promotion that's not failing. AEW. AEW right. <laughs> uh, got a couple of bits of AEW news. First off, uh, they're... First TNT show, October 2nd, has got two okay. matches announced and something about the women's title, so we'll just discuss that a little bit. The announced matches are Cody Rose versus Sammy Guevara. Oh, I'm, that, that, that match is kind of this, but we'll talk about that later. And the Elite versus Chris Jericho and two mystery partners. Mm-hmm. So, do you want to start talking about that? Do you want to discuss? or? Uh, uh, yeah, we can discuss wanna... who we yeah. think the mystery partners can so, be. I'm going to go with... He might call upon the Lucha Brothers. But that's not really a surprise, if we're going to be honest. Uh, hmm, okay. Uh, who could they bring in who's a tag team? I think I have one team. Uh, the Revival. If they get yeah uh, i don't know their but again we don't know their contract we don't know then again the, the we can just discuss this because this is going to be one of the things to talk about the revival have now set up a teespring store on the, the wrestling t-shirt shop that all the independent places use and tweeted towards uh, i can't remember which person it was saying i'll see you soon uh oh it was on anderson they tweeted towards on okay. anderson saying we'll see you soon Who's a producer make... backstage at AEW? Okay, I'm gonna make a bold prediction right now. Okay. Okay. I think that the tag team partners are not going are not going to be a team. I think we are going to have two big names. Yeah. Now, who that can be, I don't know. I just think CM Punk uh, it's... and Adam Cole. Think... No. I don't cool is not leaving. I don't think so. Uh, you know, there there were the rumors, but um, I don't think if he signed, we don't know anything. I think uh, if, if that's the case, we should probably talk about that if he loses the title. You know, uh, take over. Yeah. But uh, come on, CM Punk, Adam Cole, but, and Chris uh, Jericho versus Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. That match would be fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, exactly. I, ju I just say that we shouldn't go into that Adam Cole conspiracy until it, until he doesn't drop the title. 
if he drops the title at TakeOver, uh, I can see that happening, because we don't know what's going to happen after that. Um, but, uh, you know, if that even happens, I don't think he'll be there. I think if that happens at TakeOver, I think uh, he is leaving his first AEW champion on August 31st, if that happens at TakeOver, you know? Uh, yeah. So, uh, speaking of tag team, I don't know, I, realistically, I can see the revival if their contract is up in September. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to be two names. Now, once again, I don't know who are those two names. Maybe Marty, Marty Skrull, if his contract is up, I don't know. Uh, then again, he only wrestles in New Japan, so we could probably pop over for that. Yeah, but, but you got to keep in mind this. Chris Jarek is a heel, okay? So, uh, because he's a heel, uh, I don't think CM Punk is going to go to AW to be a heel. Nah, uh, I, just, I just want a fantasy book, a match that I think would be insane. Yeah, and I'm going to disappoint some people right now with my prediction. What I really think, what I really think is going to happen. Uh, we are going to get a team that people will not pop up about that. I don't think uh, people will be excited, but... Uh, I think we will get a team that's not very no uh, very well known uh, because Chris Jericho can put them immediately in a you know tag team title contenders and you know uh, some yeah, new that, team. Yeah, that is a good point. I'd like that. Because, I'd uh, like Chris Jericho yeah. to go up with some new up and comers. That would be good. It, it, you know, it it's not going to be a shock factor. Fat fans are not going to go crazy, but at the end of the day, it's going to make them better if that happens. I can definitely see that happen. Exactly. Exactly. It would be good, whatever they're going to do. And the last thing regarding the... Well, two more things regarding the TV. Uh, mm -hmm. It's announced that the first AEW Women's Champion will be crowned during the first show of the TV. Ah, uh, you know I love Baker. Like, I, I hope she wins, because I've got a pound bet on this. I bet either Britt Baker or Ali is going to win the title first. Okay. And I have Can a pound this? on this bet. Can you see this? Okay, I'm going to say this. Be ready for this. This is a massive for for Britt Baker. I don't care. Leave Adam Cole and we'll talk. Like uh, screw Adam Cole. Like he's a baby. Like the guy is five foot ten. Like. But uh, no, I'm joking. Um, you know what? Yeah, it's definitely, I think, I she think definitely could I be love. the woman to build a division around. Then again. My mate bet Bro. either Nyla Rose or Awesome Kong would be the first person to hold it, which does make logical sense as well. To have listen, one of those two listen, hold listen, it, listen, with them being listen. big, strong women. I'm going to be honest. I love Brie Baker, I love Ali, I love... Uh, I don't think there is anyone else in AEW right now. I just think... I'm going to make... Uh, uh, who is in the match? Do you know who is in the match? Uh, no, there it's is literally not the just been announced they're going to no, crown no, the first announced. woman champion. Um, I'm going to make... the. I can bring back her. Like, I, I think that's obvious. I hope so. Well, I want Ali, but... Brit Baker is a second. Ah, uh, screw it. <laughs> well, I'm a sucker for Ali. What can I say? Well, I'm from for Brit Baker, so over there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, going to be a good match, and it'll be good for whoever wins it first anyway, so best of luck to all the women involved. We'll know we'll soon enough who's going to be in the match. It's, what, two months away for the show? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm going to tell you something, uh, considering that. Um, they may actually shock the world, and it may be Sasha Banks, dude. I don't it know. could be. It could be. Uh, but Then again, uh, we don't know what her contract is. And then again, if she got released from her contract, she'd have the 90-day no-compete clause. If if we knew their construct, uh, contracts right now uh, and when it's ending, I think it will be easier for us to talk uh, what would happen after that. So, exactly. Uh, we'll have to I wait and see. Talk, yeah. yeah. And we now don't. we have what's very good news for AW. They sold out that show within two hours of tickets going on sale. That's great. Uh, two hours. Uh, you got to keep in mind. Okay, I'm going to go back. Okay, you're going to hate me for this. You're really going to hate me for this, dude. Okay? You're going to hate me. Like, you're really going to hate me for this. Look at TakeOver a few years ago. They were selling out TakeOver in 10 seconds, dude. Okay? So, uh... 
for yeah a is definitely a success uh, I'm gonna, gonna uh, disagree with that um, yeah I, I just I just think that uh, you know uh, especially for a TV show that's a big deal uh, for that to be sold out in two hours exactly uh, I'm just worried that after that if they don't put in a perfect show what fans were expecting I don't I just afraid that they're going to have a lower attendance for the next shows. Yeah, but I also we'll confirmed see. how much uh, seats are in the arena. Over 20,000. It's actually 14,000 right now. Uh, for, for, I for checked the arena that they're in. It's 20,000 capacity. Uh, yeah, but 14 is max maximum. Actually, some of the Young Bucks tweeted. Uh, because think about this, uh, it's it is. But when you have a wrestling show, you know one side oh, of the yeah, arena. Oh yeah, yeah, you got yeah, a point. Yeah, uh, yeah. But still, it's impressive to sell fourteen thousand tickets in two hours. It is because because usually for Raw and SmackDown, that's usually like five six thousand people, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, speaking uh, of WWE, let's just talk about this. Um, hey, wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I? Uh, can you just? Can you just wait a second for me to pick up to pick up some water water because uh, um, yeah I don't want to go get crazy you know I gotta drink something dude yeah drink something I'll go drink minute, just a minute just a minute just take a quick just water minute. break we'll be back in twenty five minutes just keep listening to Dead Silence <laughs> alright sure uh, Stefan's just grabbing that I've got it in front of me to talk about a very interesting thing. Silent on the podcast. Okay, um, what can I actually talk about? Nothing's decent to talk about. We'll just wait for Stefan. So, I hope all of you guys are doing very well today. I'm doing all righty. I think he's here. I'm back. Okay, I'm good. Back. Uh, okay, okay. while we're talking about ticket sales, uh, SmackDown has cancelled live events due to low ticket sales. They are scamming people. That's sad. Um, the event scheduled for today, mm -hmm. uh, before they cancelled it, had less than a thousand tickets sold. Just a thousand. That's that's embarrassing. Seriously, but that's embarrassing. It's Sorry. not the only bad ticket sales I've got. NXT TakeOver, Raw and SmackDown after SummerSlam are also really struggling. They're selling NXT tickets for $28 for the TakeOver and Raw and SmackDown tickets for $18 and $12. And you can get 25% off gonna them as well. I'm going to say something immediately. I'm sorry if you disagree with me on that. Maybe, hell, maybe you agree with me on this. I'm I'm sorry I got to use this word, and this is nothing personal. This is just business. Fuck, Johnny, go get <gasps> How dare you! Mr. Johnny Wrestling does not accept language well, like that. Because of him, the tickets are low sales. Because of him, dude. If it's not actually his fault, um, Adam Cole, uh, Johnny Gargano, third match in a row. Seriously, I don't think people are, people are that interested in that. Especially when you hear uh, two out of three falls. Now you will sell to me. It's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, like, it's not a three. Other, it's not two out of three. It's you gotta choose a stipulation. But again, I just think that's the case. Uh, that people are not interested in Gargano and Cole again. Yeah, I know. It's not doing good. NXT is... But then again, they've got good stuff going on NXT. I'm just afraid uh, that if 
things go wrong that uh, you know if Adam Cole retains the title and let's say Undisputed Era hold, holds all the belt and at next takeover which is War Games they also have bad sales tickets I'll, I'll, I'm gonna start fearing that uh, Vince may say oh yeah you know because of Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era we have low tickets and because of that we gotta take the titles off of them and they're trash you know so that's yeah. my only fear you know that's my only fear because I can definitely see happening with wins. Vince is not doing good. He, he's not doing. He, he doesn't give a shit. He's trolling everyone. He 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 enjoys his seventy seven and eighties whatever he his age is. Uh, the guy doesn't but give. The a problem shit. is, the problem it's is affecting is everything with his trolling. So you. You want to tell me that you don't think that he's just trolling with people, like, for real? He's trolling, dude. There is no way. He rewrited the SmackDown again this week. He's just fucking around. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Complete rewrite yeah. again. Yeah. And you can you can tell. He's probably laugh, laughing behind everyone's back. He, I, I know, dude. He's probably... It's probably the case. You gotta agree with me on that. Hmm. Like, you know, goddamn, I gotta write the better show, you know. Uh, I'm gonna write what I want. I don't care what anyone tells me. <sighs> Vince, 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 Vince. Uh, speaking, let's just cover the Roman Reigns crap that we have to cover because of SmackDown while we're on the subject. Holy shit, we're talking about Roman Reigns. Um, ah, man. I'm so sick of that. Hey, that was the worst thing I've seen in WWE history, probably. One of the mm. worst things ever. Um, I don't like the fact. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't like the fact that what happened. I don't like the fact. It, it was so fake. It was obvious that it was fake. Uh, and well, the rumor is Daniel rumor Bryan is Daniel the one Bryan. that caused it. I, I don't give a fuck. Listen, I, I'm sorry. Uh, the thing is, uh, while that was falling down on him, those boxes, whatever it is, uh, scaffold. The guy. I think. Yeah, yeah. The guy had he literally had time to move away he was standing there like oh don't follow me don't follow me don't follow me you know he had time to move you know which is a dumb it, it's just a dumb situation so uh, do, uh, do you want to hear their stupid. official reason okay. why it happened according to that face i think it was facebook pay post or random other thing um a Fort Lix backstage was carrying lighting grids and they were not properly secure. That was apparently the reason. According to social media. Who do you think it is? Uh, it could be Buddy Murphy because apparently someone was wearing a Buddy Murphy sh uh, shirt in the scene. So it could be him. That would be a nice way to bring Buddy Murphy and actually do something with him. <laughs> Screw that shit. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. You know who is the greatest thing that, that ever happened right now? And this Ray is what? gonna be a this is no, this is gonna be a reveal soon. Guess what? Imagine imagine a fucking rambling rabbit driving and just crashing all those boxes and raised it. Rambling freaking rabbit. He did it. Damn, that would be good. No, that would be hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, uh, no, in all seriousness, I, I think it's they say it's Buddy Murphy because that's probably where they put Buddy Murphy to be. Because, you know, people will start saying, oh, it's him. Um, that would make sense. That would be a massive troll to the fans. It is troll. you got to keep in mind... Uh, if if it's him in the back and fans say it's him, it's probably not him. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go with. Uh, so I'm gonna go with what they're gonna do, and this is the most disappointing thing. Obviously, I want Daniel Bryan. I think it's Daniel Bryan, but I think what they're going to do, and you're gonna be disappointed by this, it's going to be revealed as Samoa Because think about that. Think about how many times they did something and we got disappointed after that. 98% of the storylines they do now? Yeah, so you you kind of agree with me on that. Yeah. Right. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me if they did a cop out like that. Mm -hmm. 
Right, I've got a few I've brand got split brand. things to talk about and sure. different brand things. First off, apparently Paul Heyman had the most influence over this week's Raw than he's had since he took over the role as executive director. To be fair, no. it was a pretty good Raw, so I can't bl- I can't fault him. It was actually not bad. It was not bad. It was much better than uh, what we got before. And think about it. It can't get any worse than this, okay? So. Nah. It definitely can't. Um, it's also being reported also being... that the brand split is going to be taken a lot more seriously when Smack, SmackDown goes to Fox with oh. completely different storylines on different shows. You know, like how it should be. It not should be. We'll copy this storyline and put this it on storyline. this brand as well with different people. They're apparently going to take it a lot more seriously and actually, you know, make decent television. Yeah, I think we're going to get a change, a real change, after SummerSlam. Yeah. Uh, it's also been re- reported that SmackDown will be using different cameras uh, for the new show. Apparently they are newer and much more expensive technology to shoot the SmackDown, which, with it being Fox, I'm not surprised they're going to pull out all the, fo- uh, all the stops for it. Which, I like it. I want both shows to look different. Do you remember back in the original brand split when Raw and SmackDown, where how they look completely different, and when someone yeah, showed up on much. SmackDown when they weren't on SmackDown, it looked different. It, looked it felt different. Felt. Both shows had the different feel. That's what they need they to need capture to... again. Yeah. They, they need to bring the fist back. Yes, they definitely yes. fucking do. Because I miss that set to shit. That was the yeah. best I'm... set they made. I'm not gonna lie. I expected that uh, in 2016, brand split happened. I thought I really thought they were gonna bring 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 back the fist. So if I remember, someone I remember pitched someone the, idea the idea to film SmackDown and Raw differently when they did the brand split back in 2016, and someone and Vince just went, "No, we're gonna make them look the same." Well, goddamn it, you know I don't care. It's it, it, it's it's still the greatest show weekly on the weekly television. Yeah. Of course, Vince would say that. God you know, damn it, my show is the best! I make the best wrestling television on all of the planet! You know what's funny? Whenever I see something like Vince or something, you're always like, ah, oh, of course, Vince will say something like that. <laughs> it's just so obvious. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm looking forward to October 7th, 8th, 6th, something like that, when debuts on I think it's like the the 5th or 6th I'm looking forward well, to Smackdown's you know, launching you know, in October god damn it uh, the Smackdown is going to be our number one TV show you know uh, and uh, they need so, to they need to do something because Smackdown used to be great and guess what uh, why we have Bishop and uh, Heyman because I didn't want to give a control to my son-in-law, Triple H. Apparently, he wasn't even asked. But, well, that's the case. You know, they don't. They, they don't want to give a control to Triple H. To be fair, how much? How much more responsibilities do you want to put on the guy? Because he's already got to run NXT and NXT UK. So yeah, I don't probably. really think giving him more to control would be a good thing. Because you can't control everything. Because that would be too much work, too much stress, and too much to work with for Triple H. No one can uh-huh. run four different shows. Mm-mm. Definitely. I mean, the guy's a freaking genius, but no one can do that. It's just an impossible feat to run that much. He doesn't run to Apollo. No. Nah. That's run by Adam Pearce. And apparently 205 Live is really good at the minute, so... So, just give everything to Adam Pearce. Like, if the guy is that good, like... I don't. Ki- I don't give a fuck who runs the shows. I just want the shows to be great. Exactly. Exactly. Now let's talk about Bobby Lashley and why he has not been on television. Oh, Apparently, he, he has yeah, an injury and is expected to return November second. Mm-hmm. Same with Jeff Hardy, who's expected to return the same day. Mm. Is he alive? Uh, yeah, he's recovering from a knee injury. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, knee surgery. He had to have surgery on his knee. And Jinder Mahal, who had a surgery on his patellar tendon rupture, which I assume is knee, he has expected to return uh, January next year. 
Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'm just sorry to everybody say Everybody cares really about Jinder Mahal. I'm not excited to see Jeff Hardy back. I don't know why. Believe Jeff. Well, then again, his moveset that is kind of depleted over the years. Uh huh. A shame he got the knee surgery just as soon as the Hardys had won the tag team titles. Uh, so I would have I loved to have seen be... them hold the SmackDown titles for a bit longer. Do you think they'll be back as a team? Uh, Matt's not on TV, so they could. Look, have you Matt, seen this I... whole Matt Hardy? You don't know how how hard it is to be Matt Hardy. Stuff he's doing on YouTube and Twitter is amazing stuff. Exactly. The guy is a genius when it comes to gimmicks and promos, and yet they're not using him. You know what? I think they're wasting Matt Hardy. Oh, they're definitely I, wasting Matt Hardy. I feel like, I don't know if I feel this, I feel that the guy deserves at least one title shot. Um, Matt needs to hold a world title before he retires. He needs to. I'm sorry. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you don't agree with us, you'll be getting a twist of fate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want him to return. Uh, I've only got one more uh, piece of news. I know this is going to be quite a short podcast. I do apologise, but there's not been that mm -hmm. much interesting stuff that's happened this week. Kevin Nash went under a surgery with stem cell uh, in his neck to fix some injuries. Stem cell's oh, been used um... to fix the neck. That's quite impressive. How many injuries did the guy had over the years? Uh, how many times did he blow out his quads? About five. Well, we can say the same thing for Triple H. <laughs> uh, he only blew out twice, and it wasn't both. Kevin Nash is legendary for blowing out his quads. Lucky guy, lucky he, Triple H is lucky dude. He is fifty years old. I say, apparently had a wild party as well for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just might as well throw this in here because it's WWE. But I, have you? Can you believe how late they're revealing 2K20? Oh yeah, you want we to got talk about the that? first <laughs> trailer yesterday, first of October, first of September, uh, first of August. That's the day I want. This has not never been this late for a video the, game. The news, not the trailer, the news. I think they put, they put out a trailer as well. No. Or a little bit it's of a not... teaser trailer, I think it was. Something like that. I don't think it's official. It came from their Twitter account, so, yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it's... Like, they're revealing more details on Monday, which is when we'll get the first f official trailer, because they always do it during a Monday Night Raw. After yeah, a but I mean, I mean, they didn't put the trailer of the game. That's what I'm saying. I know they put the trailer for uh, a teaser trailer. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, <sighs> come on, it, it's don't, it's don't set to release in, in like what it normally gets released in like November, which is what three months. Bro, don't even start me on this stupid thing. I think they're the laziest company ever, dude. <laughs> But then again, how can you have good games when you answer into Vince McMahon? And yes, 2K has to answer to Vince McMahon about every decision about the game. I think they're lazy. They need to fi uh, they need to fix the servers there. And um, listen, if they need to answer to Vince McMahon, if we are playing the game that's basically Vince's McMahon game, <laughs> then don't expect a good game. <laughs> All I'm saying is they should be releasing the game every two years and updating the current game for a year and nine months. Putting in new arenas and new superstars for the entire duration of the game. They, yeah, should be, mean, they do that with their NBA game. Why can't they do that with 2K? Because they need to scan their tires. They're lazy to do that. But they should be doing it. They should be. Because they just put it out and then, oh, here's a few DLC packs and done. I mean, you know granted, I... it takes a lot to make a game. I can't fault them on how much effort it does take to make a game. But it just seems uh, like as soon as they've made the game, oh, we're done for, We're done with this game, let's work on the next one. 
Listen, there were rumors that the game will be cancelled before they uh, announce it. And I was actually hoping that's the true that's the case. Because if we didn't have 2K20, the next one would probably be much better. Exactly, they need more than a year to do a game. To do a game properly takes more than a year. I mean, and granted, I know THQ smashed our game after every year, but they actually put out good games. Um, you can just see they're lazy. Uh, I don't care uh, if you think any differently. Dude, I mean, the I'm hoping they do always. that. Here comes the pain remaster. That's rumored because my god, oh, that game would be insane. You know what? I I can't stand these YouTubers who say like, "Oh, we're excited for the game." You know, WWE 2K20 is coming out. We are so excited. Like, I've not been excited off. for a wrestling fuck game off. since 2K14. Seriously, fuck up. Uh, fuck off. Stop kick kissing 2K's ass. You know they're trash. Uh, 2K, 2K19 was actually pretty good. But you know what? When you start playing a game, it's fun for a few hours. After that, you're done. Exactly. Look, I, I was excited for 2K14 because that was the first game. I was alright mm -hmm. for 2K15, but as soon as I played 2K15, I kind of went, okay, this is kind of shit. No. Uh, 2K15 was the worst game uh, ever released by 2K. It yeah. didn't have reversals. Hands fucking no. down, that was the worst one they released. Those reversals were stupid, dude. The system, the, everything else that was happening, it was I, stupid. I blanked out I think... any gameplay from 2K15. Okay, do you agree with me that 2K16 was the best? Uh, I don't know if you remember, but... 2K16 or 2K19? I can't really say 2K14 was theirs because it was half developed by THQ before they took it over. Yeah. By the way, uh, 2K17 and 2K18 were the same game. Yep, yeah, they were. It was really, for real, it was the same game. Like, so. I, I, could, like I like the 2K19 My Career mode. But why can't they just call it a, a season mode or whatever? Because it wasn't your career. I know you got no. to play as a custom wrestler, but you couldn't make any changes that wasn't already planned in the game. Okay, it's not your give... career if you can't make your own decisions. Can I give one advice? Actually, what I would do um, in the universe mode or GM mode, whatever you want to make, I don't care. If, if you want to do universe mode, if you want to call it universe mode, Great, call it universe mode. Just give us GM mo GM in that mode to, for us to choose oh, the brand. Oh yes, please. Uh, I love to GM mode. If you, I like I said, seven. if you want to call it, if you want to call it the universe mode, continue calling it universe. Mode. Um, but my problem is with the calendar. <coughs> I'm sorry. I want a, cal a calendar to show uh, <coughs> the year. Um, we don't have a year. We only have like April, January. February, March, April. Yeah, we have the I days of the year. year, but that's it. Do you agree that we need a year? We need a year. So it's for it, for it to says like uh, 2000, you know, 2021, 2022. I think, I, I don't know if you agree with me on that. I just think that would be better. I swear it used to. I swear when they first brought in Universe Mode, it did have a year on the dates. Yeah, this just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And the universe mode, they need to have. The dialogue is so ridiculous. It's I know. something like funny. Uh, I mean, is five year old writing those stuff? Like, seriously? Maybe we could get uh, someone to do, come and do everyone's voices like they tried to do with John Cena. Because him in 2K19, mm. that was ridiculous. I have an idea. Let fans do their own promos. Um, you can do a voice recognition. You can do a typing. You can you can just have like fans talking through a microphone or something like that. So like um, the thing is, the games used to have speech in the career mode. You used to set yourself get a character a voice, and then it would have the voice for all the promos. Why can't they just do that again? Okay, I'd even accept that. Just they get five or six people to do voices, and you pick one that you want. Because it made yeah, it so much more realistic voice. when you don't have to read a fucking text box. 
I agree. Uh, but did you know that John Cena didn't actually do his voice for 2K19? I would have Corbin. never guessed. It sounded completely it, like John Cena. Dude, it was actually Baron Corbin. He said that. Whoever did it was Which, fucking um, shit. It was no, nothing no, he, like John Cena. He, 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 Corbin claimed on the podcast that uh, he did with, uh, what's his name? I don't know. He was on some podcast like 10 days ago. Uh, and he said that he did work for 2K19 and uh, he did the voice for John Cena also. Well, he so. did a shit job of it. He hit it. Uh, yeah, another thing, speaking of the game. Dude, optimization for PC. Like, I have a great PC, I'm a PC gamer, but g- goddamn, the optimization sucks. Like, uh, I know does. people who are playing on PC4, uh, PS4, and uh, Xbox are also saying stuff to me. Maybe you have, have this problem also uh, with lagging. A- Eight man matches lagging, uh, and Royal Rumble also. Um. It does lag a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I've so, just given uh, up playing 2K19 because I just got bored of it. Yeah, uh, and people were telling me that Royal Rumble was choppy, not only on PC, like I said, on PS4. And other people are saying that it's not choppy on PS4 Pro. It is not. So it does. It, it, it just shows how bad optimization is of the game. Yeah. Because if I want, if I buy a game, uh, that game is for PS4, PS4 Pro. It doesn't matter. Okay, PS4 is only a better console, it has better hardware, because it can run, let's say, it's not a real 4K, but it can run 4K, okay? Uh, Still, it's not real 4K, so uh, it just shows that if you have better hardware, it can run better, which tells me that WWE did a shit optimization for 2K19. They have, Um, they really, really have. Yeah, uh, and another thing I want to add is, dude, I wish we had more moves. Like, what's the point of having, of adding another pedigree move, for example, and then taking out the older pedigree? Leave that pedigree in the game. Exactly. I, I don't get why they do this every single time. Why take arenas out? You've already put arenas in for the last game. Just keep no, them no, in no, no, and no. add more arenas for the next year. If they yeah, did that, I'm, every single game would have like seven years worth of arenas. Yeah, but I'm all stuck for the moves. Yeah, I know. I don't get yeah. why they take them out. Uh, like, I'd I, I, I'm, create I'm, a finisher. I, I create a finisher you, was amazing, but they took it out. Do you understand the thing uh, when you go to choose a move and there's like spear one, spear three, spear eight? Like, why don't we have like a spear one, two, three, four, five? Instead, it's eight because they removed those moves from before years, from year, yeah. from previous year, years. So it sucks. Uh, it leave does. the moves in There's the no game. No reason to be taking stuff out when it's already in the game before. Well, I guess Vince, or or maybe they're they're losing the licensing, but I didn't think so because WWE can still use those stuff. So uh, um, to quote 2K, they couldn't get out of the WWE contract if they wanted to. You think so? That's what they said. They said they couldn't. They couldn't stop making games if they wanted to. Yeah, but I, I hate. Vince when... gets iCloud contracts when they want them. So. Yeah, I just hate the fact when, for example, a two K developer goes on YouTube and says, "Well, we have something interesting, very exciting to show you." Like I'm thinking to myself, "What's exciting? It's basically the same game from last year. Show me something different." It's like. I think I like this idea that making another game in house so there's a rivalry between two teams so the 2K people actually pull the finger out of their arse. And they're said, just they've been coasting these... for the last five fucking years. They are calling these uh, popular YouTubers to tell them what, what to do, what to change. Call other people. Seriously. Seriously? Are you that ridiculous? Yeah, are you the that top stupid? YouTubers that play the game aren't going to change anything because they like the game the way it is. Yes, so think about this, dude. We're always real, me and you, okay? If we went to 2K, we will sell. Th- this This is a shit, dude. This is a garbage. Like, And those people will suck up. They bring won't back, say anything you, back. Bring back Road to WrestleMania. WrestleMania. 
I loved that mode back in the fucking THQ game. Exactly. You, you play can... as five or six superstars and you do their road to us. I mean, it was Guess fucking what? great. Someone said, I, I, I gave an idea for uh, Break the Streak for The Undertaker. And, so, and the person I was talking, he told me back, well, you know what? The Undertaker streak was broken. And I was like, well, shit. If The Undertaker streak is broken, tell a story with Alistair Black's streak going on. And you, you need to beat Alistair Black. Why not? There's so many ideas you could do for 2K to make it interesting. Just nothing hooks me anymore because every match feels the bloody same. You know, it's funny that this podcast, of all the wrestling news, it became literally WWE 2K20. <laughs> That's going in the title, trashing 2K, tw- cr- trashing 2K in the games. And I'm sorry. And w- I-, I gotta add another thing. Like. And I know we're talking about this because there is not really anything else to talk about, right? So yeah, and it's also to be uh, related, so it counts. Yeah. So one one more thing. I understand when they say, "Okay, we we can't add we can't add an option for uh, a custom music because we need the licensing for that stuff and that kind of stuff." So I'm thinking to myself, "Well, shit! Why do you only have like seven, eight songs? Add like thirty songs in the game, like NBA does." Exactly. It's, you know, but, the music is just repetitive. I, I don't get the licensing thing, because they did it on PS3. Oh, you know what? Another stupid thing that they did, you have, like, a custom bar to choose, like, you can play, you know, uh, uh, WWE teams and to have in the menu and that kind of stuff, and the team that you choose to play in the menu uh, lasts only 10 seconds. That's fucking ridiculous, I'm sorry. So like, they haven't, you know how you can make your own custom music and use them Titan Tron things? They haven't updated that fucking set of custom, set music that they have for their own shit for ages. you got Hardcore 1, Hardcore 2, this, this, this. They haven't updated them since 2K15. Okay, I'm going to rant on this once again. Actually, I'm not going to rant. I'm actually going to But uh, Cal in a Cell is shit this year. Oh, Still fuck cage. me with that. St- Put shit. a fucking door on it for God's sake. Once again, tag team matches are shit. Okay, if I wanna pin someone, I'm gonna I gonna go to pin that guy, and there is another person, uh, his partner is coming up behind me, stopping me. Like I can never pin a guy. It's ridiculous. It's like it's just ridiculous. Why make do you it need realistic? To remove the door. Hell in the Cell matches were fun when you go on the roof and bat the hell out your opponent. And cage matches are so boring because it's literally beat them down a little bit and climb over the cage. It's so repetitive to play a cage match. Uh, the cage match, the steel cage match, is boring. It's so boring, dude. Uh, usually, when you're down, your op- your opponent can just climb up and win the match. It's 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 so it's so stupid, you know. Yeah. But I have another thing to say. Uh, is I don't know if you're good at the game and. Usually when I was playing Universe Mode and kind of stuff, uh, I gotta let my opponents actually kick my ass. Because I don't know if I'm really that good in the game, but the legendary uh, difficulty and everything on 100 in, uh, balance, uh, in the game balancing, it's still easy to me. Yeah, there is no real challenge anymore. No, it's, it's so easy. And... The thing about reversals, where you have like limited reversers, have reversals. Off. Once again, that doesn't help. It doesn't. It help. Also, doesn't make any sense. No, but uh, it's so easy to play the game. It, it's really easy, and I think if they need to do another thing, let me give you another thing. What? what uh, uh, another idea is? You know, when you re- re- when you reverse the move. So, for example. Um, Let's say you you reverse it to adjustments to Cena. He can reverse it back and hit you one uh, again. You know he can re- reverse the move back if you reverse it. So uh, that can be interesting. Yeah, also, but reversals are boring because you do them, but you can't. It'd be cool if you could turn them into your own move. Like you reverse, say a choke slam, and then you hit the DDT on him, or you decide to turn it into a switch in music. Make yeah. a reversal uh, to a move that you want to do. Yeah. Um, for That'd example, be so I, much better. I wish we have. I wish we we're gonna have like a moonsault into uh, into a super kick, uh, because I know for a fact 
uh, this is actually exciting news that Adam Cole and uh, Ricochet were actually working on a game in the Performance Center. So we, we may actually get a moonsault into a super kick, a reversal. Damn. Uh, yeah, um, that's actually good. I think another thing is, uh, what, let's call those things when you, uh, it's, uh, when you fire back, when you get up and, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? When you have like... Uh, comeback? Comeback, right, comeback. Um, it's so stupid. The Rock has Roman Reigns' comeback. Uh, for some, it makes sense. For example, for Seth Rollins, it makes sense because it's similar to Finn Balor's that Finn Balor uses. But for Ra for The Rock, seriously, clotheslines and it, it's ridiculous. Same for Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is using Roman Reigns' comeback. Uh, isn't that enough to say how bad the game is? And let's talk about models. Did you see Lana's model for this year's? It was fucking terrible. It didn't look so anything outdated. like her. No, and I'm sorry. I'm going to say this thing right now. Now. Right now. In this moment. If they don't have the Fiend in the game, fuck 2K. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fuck 2K okay if they don't have that in. Like... Like, how, how did Tommaso Ciampa not get in? Surely your contract should include video games when you sign a WWE contract. Dude, if they don't have the thing... Why the fuck is it a separate contract? I know, but listen, if they don't have a thing, uh, and they have, like, an excuse, oh, he didn't wrestle a match, it was SummerSlam, it was too late. Too late? You have two months before you release the game. And the fact he's been on TV for a few weeks before that. Yeah, if if you don't know the Andrews team or, or something like that, uh, you can add that after SummerSlam. And you, you already had enough time to scan his gear and that kind of stuff. Exactly. But that involves him doing work. And once again, I don't care that much. Okay, I agree about models like Lana. Lana is her mother is awful. Same for The Rock. The Rock has a new tat tattoo. It's it's so bad that they didn't add that stuff. Uh, if, for example, if Co Kevin Owens doesn't have a new, you know, tattoo or something like that, I'll be disappointed. Exactly. If it's the same model. Yeah, they can in uh, NBA they can pull every current thing in, but yet for 2K they just fucking slack off. But okay, after this date we're done doing our work, so we're just not going to do any more of it. Uh, yeah, and they're saying, you know, uh, I'm hearing people who are saying, especially those YouTubers, you know, uh, who love 2K, <laughs> are saying, well, WWE doesn't, uh, WWE is not, you know, people are not playing that much WWE, that's why NBA is making more money. Well, if you actually made an NBA, uh, WWE good game, it would actually make money more than your, you know. Exactly. Like, I have no interest in playing it because it's just boring as shit. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I'm, I don't want to be negative. It's not good to be negative. But I, I think we're... We are in. I'm telling you guys, be ready. The reveal is going to be on August 5th. And it's going... Apparently, it's going to include the gameplay. Guys, be ready. Don't go crazy. I'm telling you, it may be the same gameplay like for 2K19. Probably. Yeah. Apparently, they're doing a Legends thing mm -hmm. this year. That would be cool. Legends sound fine. I just think they are gonna hype up this game for Hulk Hogan, and we already had Hulk in the game. Did you also That's hear who might be the special edition there this year? That who? It, it might be China. China. That's a heavy rumor that China might be the special edition, which would be amazing. That's great. That's great. I, I just don't think taking away you can have instead of the legends on the cover, you can have. Uh, Coffee Kingston, Seth Rollins, and, uh, and Adam Cole on the cover. That's it. You know, uh, That's three it. people from three brands. When did it stop being multiple people? Because I swear, until this, until before 2K took over, it was always multiple people. Then as soon as they took over, it's always one. I don't know. Uh, okay, I need a few more but, things to discuss like, about this. Speaking of current champions, um, remember... SmackDown Raw 2007, it was John mm -hmm. Cena, Bobby Lashley, and The Undertaker, the three current mm -hmm. champions. It looked amazing as a cover. It did. It did. It uh, should be some current champions on there. 
once again, the last year they had Adam Cole as North American champion in the game, yet it was Ricochet. And they included Ricochet in the DLC. Like, seriously, you're that lazy, you can't add Ricochet, yet you will have people pay for your DLC that's basically nothing other than superstars. Why? I'm going to give you like $10 be in the for. fucking game in the first place. It's shame. Just let people download. Uh, that that's not what what they want from DLC, okay? No, DLC well, shouldn't I, be. I, we're not gonna put these people in because we'll put them in later and make people pay for them. Fuck off. Yeah. Uh, it's already overpriced. I don't think the game is worth fifty nine or fifty nine ninety nine or how much is it? I don't know. I uh, don't know. I pay for the um, collector's edition that was like one hundred and thirty pound. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Uh, say it. Uh, on PC, the graphics are great. Uh, same on the PS4, but... Uh... Oh, oh, speaking... I want to give them one good shout-out for the PC version. Mm -hmm. The ability to turn the crowd up and down for how many people are in oh, there. Yeah. That, that is an great. amazing feature and should be on all, all systems. Because, you know, if you're it doing, should. like, a dark match... You know, like yeah. before the show starts, it looks amazing to have an empty arena can, for it. You can make like a story uh, for an empty arena match or something like that. Exactly, uh, but you can't do that on the console versions because you can't turn but the do crowd you know what down. They're thinking? You know what they're thinking? Well, for to for consoles it's optimized. We don't need to have people throw down the crowd. The only reason why is on PC it's because it may have a lower system requirements and they need to lower yeah, the crowd because amazing. the battery. You know? It looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna say another thing is, for example, the overall skills. Um, you know, Adam Cole, uh, let's say, the guy had 80, already won in WWE 2K19, or in WWE 2K19. And I emailed, okay, I have a personal email that I'm going to send you. Maybe you're gonna even, even put this in the video. I ask, 2K, okay, why is the reason why? Uh, the Undisputed Era has like 80 overall or something like that. And they said to me back, because NXT is considered a develop uh, developmental territory and they can't put Adam Cole uh, higher because of that. So that's just bullshit because that Adam Cole can easily... That is an absolute cop-out answer. You know? So you're going to tell me that Sasha Banks, I know it's division, but Sasha Banks can be higher than Adam Cole or, or even Alexa Bliss. So you're telling me if you put Roman Reigns in, in NXT, you'd have to put him down to 81? It's ridiculous. I think Adam Cole deserves like 89. Honestly. The guy deserves higher than 81, definitely. So... That's completely ridiculous, and I have a message. Uh, that's r for real. I got that from 2K. They consider NXT like a developmental. It's also it's like why ridiculous. are women? Why are the top women not in the not in contention with the top men? I mean, surely if you've got Ronda Rousey or say the champions Alexa like Bliss, surely she should be higher than like 75. Yeah, uh, and uh, a few more things is uh, I need. I, I want to kick referee's ass. I want that to be able in the game. And also, I want for any wrestler to be able to be a referee. A special guest referee. Oh, I love it. And not have John Law and I just come out and go, you can't do that, stop, get out. I liked the ability yeah. back when in SmackDown, shut your mouth, where you could just kick the shit out of everybody and just do what you yeah. wanted. That was a yeah, fun part I'm, of being the special guest referee. It was, and I'm sorry... For saying this, you know they could actually have where they can, they, where you can you can count one to three and that kind of stuff. That would be interesting. Uh, but uh, I think they need to have like Mauro Ronaldo uh, instead of Byron Sexton, and uh, they, they, they need, need to, to have things. different commentators for different arenas like it used to be because I'm sorry but when I'm playing NXT I don't want to hear Michael Cole, Byron Saxon and Corey Graves because it doesn't make yeah, any bloody but, sense but bro uh, you, you gotta agree with me in this if we hear Mauro Ronaldo in the game on Raw and SmackDown that w I will actually be fine with that like he's Mauro freaking Ronaldo it's different exactly. than but all arenas shouldn't have the same announced team because it doesn't make logical sense no, it doesn't. Yeah, Mar Mauro Ronaldo, definitely, because he's just amazing. I, just have Mauro Ronaldo, dude. If if he was the only guy doing the work, I would be fine with that. To you be know? fair, the commentary is trash on the fucking game anyway. I need a reaction when you... I, Dude, I put someone through a table. 
I need a reaction, not, oh, he's down, he's down. You know, it, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, but how many times have you hit somebody with a move and it, go, and it says a completely wrong thing? Like, I think I hit a sweetie mm-hmm. music and went, oh, what a devastating clothesline. I fucking hit a sweetie yeah, yeah, music, for fuck's sake. What the hell are you I going wanna, on about, I, Michael I, Cole? I, I want to I wanna hear, like, sweet screen music, one, two, three. And I want, I, I just want, you know, uh, commentary to be much better. Uh, and Michael Cole was saying, oh, you know, I was doing the work for uh, 2K for four hours, you know. We, every month we were, we were doing the work. Like, seriously, dude, every month you should be doing the work every week for that. Like, I, th- I think I remember I, put, I hit somebody with a ladder... And it said, oh my god, he just put him through a table. So, for example, if in the new game, uh, we have an option, let's say, for Bray Wyatt to, in universe mode, to uh, to get, uh, to have an interference in some match. If lights go out and Bray Wyatt shows up, uh, you know, I want to be like, oh, look, it's Bray Wyatt. I want to be like, holy shit, the Fiend is here, you know. Exactly, is that emotion really right, you know? in it. There's no emotion. All you hear is it's Byron Saxon and Corey Graves arguing half the fucking time in the commentary. It's very bland. Very, very bland. Very bland. So I don't think we know, we have anything else to talk about. I uh, think we've ranted about 2K games enough. We managed to fill about yeah. 25 minutes just bagging on 2K games. Well, well to, to, to be honest, <laughs> going into today, today uh, it... It's it's the biggest news from WWE wor- wor- world, you know. There is nothing else to talk about other than 2K. It's a big deal for them. Yeah. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think this podcast was definitely undisputed. And, uh, yeah. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Here are fired! Here you go. Alright, peace out, guys.